Hey, what's up, Mice and Peaks? So if you're watching this video, it's because you are probably pretty new and you're learning now about all the little intricacies of what it takes to be a driver for Mice and Peak. Today's video is going to be about what it takes to take perfect photos of a package. <laughs> I know that seems stupid, but there's a lot of ways that this can be screwed up. So we're going to go over them real quick so that everybody understands exactly what's expected of you from Amazon when it comes to taking pictures of your deliveries. Every week, by, uh, Amazon sends us these updates, these reports about photo quality. So what we're going to go over right now is all of the different categories that you may have to make sure you're considering when you take photos of your packages. The first one is no package detected. That seems really crazy. Why, if you took a picture, would there not be a package in it? It's hard to understand why this happens, to be real honest. What we know for sure, though, is that sometimes, especially in locker situations, you get to a locker where um, it's not an Amazon-branded locker and you deliver your package and then suddenly it asks you to take a picture like it's a regular door front doorstep delivery. And then you panic and you take a picture of the locker. Unfortunately, that doesn't count. So you want to make sure that you are aware of what type of locker you're at and what it's going to request of you. If you don't have the little plastic cards for the lockers, please request them from dispatch. We'll get them for you. It'll explain each type of locker and exactly what the process is to deliver to that locker. But make sure there's always a package in your photo. Um, the second one is package not clearly visible locker or other concealment. So this is the exact, exact same thing, except now they'll say, okay, well, we got 28. There were just pictures of a locker. This is literally nothing detected. That's, that's a lot. So again, same example. Uh, photo too dark. We deliver in the cycle two. So we are the evening drivers and often it gets dark by like four or five o'clock. And then you're out there at the mercy of people's front porch lights or the little flashlight that we give you in your bag. Bringing extra light for yourself is okay. There is also a flashlight or should be a flashlight in the glove box of every van that we have. So check your glove box if you need extra light. But also your rabbit does have a little flashlight button at the bottom when you are taking your photo. You can turn that on and it will light your photo very well and that should be good to go. Uh, but make sure your photos are not too dark. Also package too close. This is a pretty bad picture of anything, including my face. So you want to take two steps back from your, from your package and then take the picture. You don't have to be Ansel Adams. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful picture anybody's ever seen in their lives. It just has to be clear enough that the customer understands where you left their package. You don't have to be able to read the label. It just has to be put the little, pa little square on the screen on the package and take a picture. Two steps back, bang, all it is. Um, humans in the picture. Don't get, your own, don't get your own reflection. Don't get the customer holding the package like, oh, cute. Just put it on the porch, take a picture and walk away. Your reflection, pets, humans in the picture, all of those things will get you negative points on this. Uh, blurry. The rabbit specifically asks you after you take the picture if, that, if you approve that picture or if you want to retake it. There's no reason you should be approving a blurry photo. If it's too blurry, it's 2021, like all these cameras take great photos. So what that means is you went too fast or moved in the middle of the shot and it took a blurry photo. Retake it. Take the extra half second that it takes to retake that photo. Uh, package in hand. Do not take a picture like this of you holding an envelope or a package. Put it down where you're delivering it and take that photo so that they know that where you've taken that picture is where that package is gonna be when they go to look for it. Um, package in car. This is weird and doesn't happen very often, though I have seen in customer notes where a customer has requested that we specifically put the package like in the back seat of their unlocked car in their driveway. Um, there's also an other category we never see that, but those are gonna be the things that Amazon is looking for when you take your photos, and if you mess up any of those, you're gonna get negative points, and your photos can keep you out of things like Top Driver, which could, which could cut out your bonusing. So you wanna make sure you're doing photos to the best of your ability. 
They don't have to be perfect, but I know every single one of you is capable of taking a decent photo with the camera that you have on your personal device, and it's just as easy to take it with these devices here at Amazon. So, guys, photos are super important. It seems stupid and trivial, but it is not. Take a decent picture of every single package that you have, double check it in the rabbit. If it sucks, retake it, and then go on about your business. If you stick to these rules, you'll be just fine. Keep up the great work. Welcome to the team. We'll talk to you soon.